Hi everybody. So, um, this is my first uh, pregnancy vlog. So, um, I have a list of questions that I'm going to go over every day or every week. Um, so, this week, um, the baby is the size of a poppy seed, which is really small, but <laughs> we're getting there. I am four weeks and zero days, so it's Wednesday, which is my rollover, my turnover day. Um, I have approximately 36 weeks left. That's if I were to give birth on my due date, which is never very likely. Um, my due date is June 19th, 2013, based on my ovulation date. That's what fertility friend told me, and that's what my doctor told me. Um, I haven't gained or lost. I am still sitting at 120, which is about 10 pounds over what I was when I got pregnant with Jax, but it's fine. Um, maternity clothes, I don't need them, obviously, I'm only four weeks, but um, there's some maternity clothes that I have worn postpartum, like my motherhood maternity yoga pants, which I'm actually wearing today, and I'm going to do my um, weekly bump photos in because they'll be big enough when <laughs> I'm 40 weeks like they were last time. So, but I haven't bought anything new and I got rid of a lot of my old maternity clothes so I'm going to end up needing to buy some but still in regular clothes. Um, stretch marks. I don't have any new ones. I do have a lot from Jackson, but they're all white. You, you can't really see them. They're not like purple or anything. Um, they're not noticeable from a distance. Only like if you're really close up and looking at them. So no stretch marks. Um, sleep. As far as sleep is going, Jackson is teething, so he wakes up about three times in the night. And usually when he wakes up, um, I feel like I, I give him a bottle of water because that's just like four ounces of water and it puts him right back to sleep. Um, so I'll give him that and then I'll crawl back in bed and then I'll realize that I really have to pee. So I pee about three times in the night. And also I've been having a little bit of insomnia. Um, I'm really tired all day, but then as soon as I get in bed, I can't fall asleep. I'm not tired. I can't get comfortable. I'm rolling on one side. I'm rolling on the other. I'm sleeping on my back. I'm sleeping on my stomach, and I can't fall asleep. I end up just scrolling through Tumblr on my phone for, like, hours. Um, so getting comfortable and falling asleep is really hard. And then I wake up with Jax, and I end up going to the bathroom, but... I've been getting a nap in the day when Jax takes a nap because I am so tired all the time. The best moment this week was getting my BFP. Um, finding out we were pregnant was just, it was so excited. I'm still, like, still over the moon and happy and excited and surprised still. I'm still in shock and surprised. Um, I even took another wand fill yesterday and both lines were so dark which was the first dark wand fill I'd gotten and I was I'm just so excited and so happy and I've taken I think eight pregnancy tests over spans of different days um, because it's so exciting to see that after seeing negatives for so long and taking so many tests that came out negative, it's just like every time I see two lines, it my heart pounds and I love it. It's it's exciting. Um, so that was the best moment this week, and the worst moment this week. Um, I guess there's two kind of bad moments. One was at. 8 GPO, um, 
I got a BFN, and it was really early. I mean, 8 GPO is really early, and so, but it was still, you know, sad because I wasn't having any symptoms other than cramping at that point, and so, and I just didn't think it was going to happen because I ovulated so late and sex was timed really bad, and I was just positive that I was not going to get pregnant this, this cycle. So getting a BFN 8 DPO was not a very good moment. And also, I've called my OB's office twice trying to get an early appointment. And they won't see me until I'm eight weeks, five days, which is November 12th. Um, I wanted an earlier appointment because of how high risk I am. Um, I had a miscarriage with my first, and then I have a bicornic uterus, so if the baby implants somewhere that, you know, isn't viable, or I'm really curious on which um, side, which horn, my uterus is like this, so there's two uteruses or two horns. Um, Jackson was in my right, and he did fine there, but we don't know about the left because it didn't grow at all with him. So it makes me nervous to know what side that the baby's in because if it's in the right, that's, I mean, I carried a pregnancy there before to full term, so it won't be so worrisome. But if it's in the left, it's just like a whole new pregnancy. Is my uterus going to stretch properly? Is it going to be okay? So that's really nerve-wracking. And, um... And then with Jax, I had an incompetent cervix, and I had a really short cervix, so, and we didn't find that out until around 19 weeks. So, I want to get a cerclage really bad this time, so I don't have to worry about it as much. But, um, you have to have that done in the first trimester, or there's a risk of putting you into labor. So, the sooner I get an appointment, <laughs> The sooner they can look at my cervix, um, the sooner I can talk my doctor into doing that procedure, and the sooner I can get the procedure done. I was on bed rest with Jax my entire pregnancy, and I really don't want to do that again, especially with a toddler. And right now I feel like, you know, I really need to be taking it easy in case, you know, my cervix gives out again. So that was another bad moment this week not knowing or knowing that I can't get an appointment until I'm eight weeks five days um, so that's another four weeks and five days until I get one food cravings <laughs> I've been craving everything um, I have a little bit of nausea but that's usually just when I'm hungry um, we went to Buffalo Wild Wings yesterday and I usually eat six to maybe nine wings and I ended up eating 12. They were so good and I just kept eating and I ate them just as fast as my husband ate his six and I was still hungry afterwards. So that and just everything sounds good so I've been eating a lot and I'm surprised I haven't gained weight yet. Um, movement. I haven't felt any movement yet Obviously, I won't for a while. Um, I felt Jackson for the first time at 12 weeks, which was early. And I hear that with your second pregnancy, you feel them even earlier. But I'm expecting anywhere between 12 to 16 weeks, so I'll probably feel this baby. Symptoms. So before I got my BFP, I had really bad cramping, like menstrual cramping in my front and my back, really, really bad until the day after my BFP. And then, like, literally, I got my positive, and then the next day, I had, I got my positive really late at night. And then the next day, I just had a ton of symptoms. Um, and since then, I have been really tired and exhausted all day. Um, I have had waves of nausea. Some, like, my sense of smell is really heightened, and some smells just make me so sick. And then my boobs have been hurting off and on a lot, but not, like, constantly. And I'm still having cramps every once in a while, which I'm just guessing. It's 
my uterus growing, so it's not anything that I'm worried about. Um, I was talking to my nurse today, and she said, because I was trying to get my appointment moved up, and she said, if you have any spotting or cramping to call, and we'll move your ultrasound up. But the cramping that I have, it's short, and it's really nothing to worry about. I'm pretty sure it's just normal uterus growing stuff. So that's it for symptoms. Um, no labor signs. <laughs> I probably won't be saying that for a very long time, hopefully. Swelling. Um, I didn't swell that much with Jax, or at least I didn't think so until I looked at pictures. <laughs> I realized my face was really swollen, but no swelling except for in my stomach a little bit. I'm kind of bloated, but that's it. My belly button is in. It was in the entire time with Jackson. It just kind of flattened out a little bit, but it was always in. Um, wedding rings on or off? I didn't have wedding rings last time, so I don't know if I swelled enough to have my wedding rings need to be taken off, but my wedding ring is still on, <laughs> and I'm hoping it stays on because um, not wearing a wedding ring, you get a lot of looks. So, I will probably get a falsy. Um, if I swell too much, you know, just cheap $10 ring that looks like a, uh, like a diamond ring so that people don't give me the looks. Um, what do I miss? Nothing. <laughs> nothing, nothing, nothing. I don't miss anything about TTC because TTC sucks. Um, as anyone who is trying to conceive knows, TTC sucks. I don't miss the temping. I don't miss the OPKs. I don't miss the wondering. I don't miss the symptom spotting. Everything. Is that a symptom? Is this a symptom? I don't miss anything. <laughs> I'm like, I don't. I, I really don't. Um, I don't even miss not feeling nauseous or not always being hungry or not being tired. Like, I love all my symptoms because I know that I'm pregnant and I know that um, Bean is growing well, so I don't miss a thing. My feelings towards pregnancy, as you probably already know, I'm really excited and I'm really happy and I have the best feelings towards pregnancy that anyone could probably have. Um, what am I looking forward to? Right now, I'm really looking forward to my first appointment. It's far away, but the way I think about it is I'm four weeks now, and I feel like my period wasn't that long ago. It really wasn't that long ago that I got my period, and I started Clomid, and that was just four weeks ago. And so I just have to wait a little under five more weeks and then I get to see Bean, so that's what I'm looking forward to. And I know it will be here in a flash, especially because um, TTC feels like it goes so slow because you're waiting and waiting and waiting. And now I just get to enjoy being pregnant, <laughs> so it'll go by fast, I'm sure. Um, news for this week is that I found out I was pregnant obviously. Um, I told my husband and I told my mom and my mom's really excited. Um, I sent her a picture of, it was like a collage of Jackson, the pregnancy test, and then my What to Expect app that says how far along I am, what my due date is, and how big the baby is and stuff. And I said, I sent it to her in a text because she was far away and I, I just couldn't wait. And it, I said, looks like Jax is going to be a big brother. And she said, yay, how exciting. So, and then she asked me, you know, all the other questions. When's your first appointment? Blah, 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 blah. So, that was exciting. And then I made my first appointment. So, that's news for this week. Um, this week's baby buys. I haven't bought anything for the new baby. Um... I mean, I've bought things for Jax because I buy things for him every week. And we're actually going to the store to get this little um, container that 
you put snacks in, like um, his newest thing is Fruit Loops. So you put them in, and it doesn't if it tips over, nothing comes out. But he can the top is like spirally, and he can stick his hand in and get stuff out. So um, two of his friends have that, so we really want to get him that. So I'm probably gonna buy that today. We were gonna buy it last night, but they didn't have any boy colors, <laughs> so. I'm going to look somewhere else for them. Um, and then my mood this week is that I'm really happy. That's, <laughs> that's about it. Um, so those are the questions that I'm going to do every week. And then I will show you my belly. And I'm going to measure it. And then on my blog I'm going to do my the same collage that I did for my last pregnancy for this one. Um, so if you follow my blog, I'll see that. And if you don't follow my blog, you should follow my blog. Um, if you don't have a Tumblr, you really should get one because the mom community is so amazing and so is the TTC community. And I got so many <laughs> congratulations and I'm so happy for you. And I, it literally made me cry <laughs> how many people have been supporting me and loving me. So... Anyways, I will, this video turned out way longer than I thought it would. I will show you my belly, and let me go grab the tape measure. I should have done that first. So. Okay, so, here's my belly from the front, here's my belly from the side, I know I have a little, a little pooch, but um, that's left over from Jack. There's the front, or the side, and there's Jack's, the front, and there's the other side. And then, I will do my measurement. This is really sad. <laughs> when I was about six weeks pregnant with Jax, um, so that's where we are with that. Um, here, I'll do it this way. About 33 and a half. Um, about 33 and a half. So. I measured my stomach with Jackson, and when I was about six weeks long, I was only 28 inches, and now I'm 33, so, <laughs> but I had a baby, so, we'll see how big that gets, um, I think that's everything, baby dust to those trying to conceive, and sticky dust to those who are pregnant.